Here, we are looking at the fan rankings of the top 10 best WNBA players of the 2023 season. And if you don't like these rankings, don't be like Coach Sides. These are your rankings, and if you have not gotten involved yet, go to fanrankings.com so you can create your rankings so it can be included in the power rankings and have a great chance to win prizes. Now, here are the top 10 best WNBA players of the 2023 season. Number 10, Brittany Griner. The nine-time WNBA All-Star, who has been as dominant as any player, bounced back strong after missing the entire 2022 season. She finished off the season averaging nearly 18 points per game to go along with around six rebounds. The dominant down low star added nearly two blocks per game while creating a mismatch for other players in the paint. Number nine, Alyssa Thomas. A player that can do it all. It is hard to look past Thomas as one of those stars who can not only elevate her game, but also every player around her. The former Terp star is coming off a season averaging nearly 16 points per game while also adding nearly 10 boards and 8 assists. While her points were well below some of the game's top stars, her unselfish style of play impacts those numbers while helping her team all around. Number 8, Jackie Young. A second member of the Las Vegas Aces, landing among the best players in the WNBA, continues to rank among the best guards in the league. Young, who is coming off her second straight WNBA All-Star selection, capped off her best season of her young career while also helping the Aces win their second straight WNBA championship. She was the league's most improved player last season, increasing her production again this season while posting nearly 18 points per game with over 40 games played. Despite the loaded roster, Young was able to continue to see improvement in her overall scoring while also adding 4 rebounds and nearly 4 assists per game over the course of the season. We want your rankings like Asia wants Usher. Usher, I better see you, Usher. If you want to see more rankings and for you to contribute to these rankings to win prizes, hit the like button, subscribe button, and then all to get notified. Join the new sports community. Number 7, Satu Sabali. Since arriving in the league, Sabali has been selected to two WNBA All-Star teams while landing this year's Most Improved Player Award. She finished ninth in the league in scoring, averaging 18.6 points per game while posting a career high. In addition to her production on the offensive end of the floor, Sabali posted 8 boards per game while also adding nearly 4.5 assists and 2 steals per game. Number 6, Arike Ongubuale, another scoring threat of the Dallas Wings who was also key in the team finishing as one of four teams with a winning record. Arike is coming off a season in which she finished 5th in the league in scoring, averaging 21.2 points per game, while also being one of the only five WNBA players to average at least 20 points per game. The former Notre Dame Fighting Irish guard topped the 20 plus points per game mark for the second time of her young career while also landing on her third straight WNBA All-Star team. Number 5, Neka Ogumuke. The former Cardinal forward continues to remain one of the league's top scorers each year and has posted 12 straight seasons averaging at least 13 points per game, including 19.1 points per game this past season. The Sparks forward is coming off her best season since 2016 after also adding almost 9 rebounds per game to go along with almost 3 assists and 2 steals last season. Her strong performance on the floor landed Nikkei her 8th All-Star selection of her career as well as a spot on the All-WNBA second team. Number 4, Nafisa Collier. Collier's latest performance saw the Lynx star finish 4th in the league in scoring while averaging 21.5 points per game this past season. She also added nearly 9 rebounds per game to go along with almost 3 assists, 2 steals, and 1.2 block shots per game. Her play did not stop there as she stepped up in the team's 3 playoff games averaging nearly 2 points more per game. Number 3, Jewel Lloyd. While the team struggled at times with the loss of Brianna Stewart, Jewel put together a stellar season finishing with a WNBA lead in scoring averaging 24.7 points per game. The former Fighting Irish guard posted 22 games during the season scoring at least 25 points per game including 12 games with at least 30 points. Lloyd also finished the season averaging almost 5 rebounds, 3.5 assists and 1 steal per game while shooting nearly 36% from behind the arc. Number 2, Brianna Stewart. After an exciting offseason for the New York Liberty, the move to land Brianna Stewart nearly paid off as the Dynamic Ford played a key role in their success. Stewart, who took home her second MVP trophy, capped off the season averaging 23 points per game to go along with 9 rebounds, nearly 4 assists, 2 steals, and 2 blocks per game. A tremendous two-way player who can excel on both ends of the floor while also being a strong shot from outside the arc. Number 1, Asia Wilson. Wilson set career highs across the board including averaging 22.8 points per game across all 40 games played. In addition to her ability to score, Wilson is as good as a defender as any in the WNBA while posting 1.4 steals and 2.2 blocks per game. 
Outside of her regular season success, Wilson shined during the postseason while helping the Aces take home their second straight championship while also landing herself her first WNBA Finals MVP award. During the postseason, Wilson posted six double-doubles while averaging 23.8 points per game to go along with nearly 12 rebounds. Wilson and the Aces will look to retool this offseason en route to a potential three-peat. How would you rank these players? Go to fanrankings.com to rank, be a part of the power rankings, and a chance to win prizes. Subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you for watching. And click the screen for more women's basketball videos.